citizens of the Reject Nation, it's me, Tara Erickson, alongside Greg Alba. <laughs> <laughs> we are both a little sleepy. I think I forgot to brush my teeth, but we're still going to watch Despicable Me 2. Two. Despicable Me 2. I love the first one. It's so fluffy, it makes me want to die. Great I've been quote. saying it since I've seen that movie. I just like run around town being like, it's so fluffy, I want to die. And no one gets it. Nobody gets it. They just go, wow, look at her. Maybe we should call security, but yeah. I haven't been kicked out of anywhere. Not yet. Ah, uh, white girls. So guys, don't forget, when you're watching this, you gotta leave a like, you gotta a comment, and they also got to ring the bell! Ring the bell! And also, if you haven't become a patron, you should. Sorry, I had to have a heart swallow. There was spit there. You should become a patron, okay? Because if you get over there, you can watch the entire full reaction of me and Greg watching Despicable Me 2, and you can sync up with your own copy. So you're sitting there watching the movie, and we're here too, and we watch the whole thing together. That's insane! Greg and John also cover several shows exclusively over there with reaction highlights and watch-alongs included. If there's no more further ado, let's get into it. Despicable 2! The Arctic. Is it Alaska? A or is it the North secret, Pole? Secret base. Kristen Wiig is back. So is Steve. Benjamin Pratt. What? Woo! Woo! Do you know Russell Brand's the old scientist guy? Nefario? Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, my God. I didn't know that. Yes. Arctic Circle. Okay. Ooh, the animation already looks improved. Oh no, something what? magnetic is happening. Is it aliens? Nah, aliens. <laughs> it's gotta be a villain or something. <laughs> or an alien. No, 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 it's a big magnet. <laughs> With aliens in it. Take off all your metal stuff. I would be unbelting right now. And not get off the jet ski. Whoa. How, yeah, is... you can't. No. Whoa. Holy junk. <laughs> Wilhelm scream. That was a pretty cool visual. Yeah, that was pretty awesome. It did look like an alien sucking up some See? human stuff. See, we don't know that it's not aliens. Hey, at least the porta potty survived. Ah, oh, that's like a Jurassic Park callback, kind of. Oh, this must be a game with the girls. <laughs> cool. Oh, he's such a sweetheart oh, now. I love it. There already seems like they're doing cooler shots this time around. There's a lot more yeah. tracking shots. Well, here come the gallant knights to save us. <laughs> oh my God. I love it. Give me a Funko. I don't want a refund. I want the party princess. Please, please, I'm begging you. You got to do it, buddy. When's the fairy princess coming? Any minute now. <laughs> 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 also, who cooks a rotisserie chicken for a kid's birthday? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> uh. hey, hey, it looks believable. <laughs> <laughs> Magical fairy princess of all. And I am here. Aww. Oh, she's so cute. How come you're so fat? My house is made of candy. And sometimes I eat instead of facing my problems. <laughs> <laughs> okay, time for cake. Wow, all that work for like yeah, 20 for seconds. <laughs> <laughs> 20 seconds of worth it. I know it's really you, girl. Oh. I'm just pretending for the other kids. I love her so much. Cutest kid. I man. like literally can't even stand her. She's like perfect. My friend Natalie is recently single. And <laughs> uh, oh, God. It's you in the future. <laughs> it is. Or me right now. now. <laughs> uh. How about my cousin Linda? No. I know someone whose husband just died. <laughs> oh. Wow. Whoa. 
Mm, I wonder if there's like fan theories on what this creature is. He kind of looks like a boot it, that got brought to life. <laughs> he looks like a rat terrier mixed with like a porcupine. Agent Lucy Wilde of the AVL. AVL? Oh, sorry. I Policey! Ad- advanced. Aviation Whoop. something? Oh, or advanced. Advanced oh. villain league. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> 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 Oh, he's flexible. He and strong. You big You're gonna break his arm. Or his entire body and crush his face. I right, go get him. Hurry up, Steve, Mark, John, Brian. <laughs> uh, <laughs> There's always those kinds of trash cans in these movies. I'm liking the shots way more this time around. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> now that's inventive. That's fun. Oh, boy. No. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Oh, she is clever and capable. She's intense. Oh my god, do they get to go underwater? Is this gonna turn into a boat? It's so cool. This one feels more spy movie. Cool. It's totally a Bond tribute. Is this a, a spy leak? I don't know. This is awesome. This is very like Bond Mission Impossible esque. Yeah, way more. And I think they have a much bigger variety of a color palette this time. Yeah, I was just going to say it's so bright and like really colorful. I like it. I don't know who you people think you are, but we are the anti villain league. <laughs> anti villain league. I was like, okay. <laughs> I am the league's director, Silas Ramsbottom. Bottom. <laughs> Your top secret lab disappeared from the Arctic Circle. The lab was devoted to experiments involving PX-41. No! What? No! Not on the bunny! No! Aww. <laughs> yeah, eat him up! Good rabbit! We found traces of it in the Paradise Mall. And we believe that one of these shop owners is a master criminal. And that's where you come in. Oh, my God. He's going to be a spy. But no, no. We're my father now. And a legitimate businessman. I am developing a line of delicious gems and jellies. Uh-huh. Your work as a villain was kind of amazing. So if you ever want to get back to doing something awesome... <laughs> Give us a call. Wild has a soft spot for Gru. Gru's going to have a love interest this yeah. time. Michael! <laughs> Michael! <laughs> the minions be doing that? Uh, no, they should be doing exactly what they were just doing. Because it gives me joy. Miss Jillian said she was arranging a date for you. She is a nut job and I'm not going on any date. Uh -huh. Why not? Are you scared? <laughs> Oh, here oh, we go again. Oh, my God. <laughs> hey, Lisa, I was wondering if you... Ew! Gru touched Lisa! Ew! Aww. Oh, poor Gru. Kids are evil. Well, I love how these movies are about Gru overcoming his childhood <laughs> trauma. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, right. His jelly business. <laughs> <laughs> What's about to happen? Oh. What's about to happen? Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I thought it was going to be like all deformed. <laughs> Try some of these. Mm. Uh. <laughs> I miss being evil. I mean, don't you think there's more to our future than jelly? 
I've had an offer of employment elsewhere. What? Uh oh. There is no loyalty here. Traitor. Who's he gonna work for? Oh, maybe uh the person uh, who's the the magnet? Oh, that or orange jumpsuit guy is still alive. Vector? <laughs> yeah. Oh, hello. <laughs> what just happened? This oh, time the it's aliens personal. are here. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Make my day. Here is the cupcake recipe I got off the internet. Colors are so much more vibrant and lush this time around. Yeah. Not that the last one looked good too, but this one's more striking. Yeah. Oh god, that cupcake is terrifying. The shark is dope. Oh, hello, wild. wild. What are you doing? Oh, okay. What's the point in breaking them? Why don't you just let them fall to the ground? <laughs> she loves to fight cupcakes. Why are you here? I'm your new partner. Everyone else refused to work with you, but not me. Yeah, but you're talented. <sighs> that Aww. was a great cupcake, Missy. Without your cupcake. <laughs> oh, what? Does he love her? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I feel you, minion. You're young, and then a girl smiles at you. I get it. <laughs> I want to go on a date like that. We're just like shooting Dave. fireworks. What? Earth. Oh my God. Dave. Dave. I am Eduardo Perez, owner of Salsa y Salsa restaurant across the mall. This is definitely the villain, right? Yeah. And I am going to need. 200 of your best cupcakes decorated with the Mexican flag. It looks something like this. That's my future body right there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to assume that is Benjamin Brett. Oh, yeah. Yes, that is. <gasps> mm. oh, we look straight into your future, buddy, and you are no good. That guy looks exactly like a villain named El Macho from about 20 years ago. Oh, hell yes. <laughs> Get it. He was dangerous. <laughs> That's the name <laughs> of lies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, why didn't they do a spin-off in this world? Whoa. He died in the most macho way possible, riding a shark. <laughs> yes. Oh my God, this guy's awesome. <laughs> Into the mouth of an active volcano. Oh my God. <laughs> What? Yes. Oh my goodness. They never found uh. the body. Oh no. All that was ever retrieved. <laughs> well, uh, this is freaking wild and escalated that guy. Uh. <laughs> if anybody in this place has the PS41 serum, yeah. It's oh, him. cool. Like, zoom in. Yeah, there's way better like framing and, Li and purposeful. lighting too. Yeah. Like the lighting in these shots is crazy. I guess there's more like style. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Behind the way they frame it. She kisses my boobos. She <laughs> braids my hair. My mother is beyond compare. We love your mothers everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try this one more time, but it tastes a bit less like a zombie. Okay. okay. She kisses my boobos. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I should do this. I don't even have a mom. Maybe you can just use your imagination. I pretend I have a mom? This is so uh. sad. You need to find a woman for your children. <laughs> <laughs> Guys. Oh no, the aliens are back. No, oh, take off your goggles. Uh oh. What are you doing? What is that? Laser beam alarm triggers. Oh. There are no booby traps. Uh. Uh oh. What have you unleashed? Ah. Uh. Oh. Just a sweet little rooster. Don't be fooled. Don't be fooled. <laughs> They'll claw your eyes out. Some guard dog. <laughs> so don't be fooled. <laughs> <laughs> Alien uh -huh. reference. Oh. 
Whoa, all right, Wild. Did you turn into a Did he? bowling ball? No, I think he ran into it so precisely. You getting anything? No, not yet. But hey, maybe you can find something with these x-ray goggles. If you were a spy, Terra, you would behave exactly like this person. <laughs> I would behave like wild. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, uh, that adds up. If someone were to ask me, like, who do you know that is like Agent Wild? Uh, I'd be like, oh, he's, he's straight not up without a, pausing. Yeah, Tara Erickson. Tara, Tara Erickson. <laughs> Aha! What? It's, it's the salsa. Probably delicious, though. What are they doing? Pajito, can you hear me? Who's <laughs> there? Uh -oh. <laughs> ah, they're eating it. I love that. Stop! Oh. It's so dangerous. Over here! Over here! Over here! <laughs> oh, these minions need a driving lesson. Hold tight! Oh, yeah, oh, bro. Hey. Yeah, crew. Oh, yeah, crew. I have you. And he's draped in red. It's a sign of a villain. God, I love Minion so much. Wait until the end to see if I like this one more or not. But so far, it is cooler. Yes, yeah. I agree. Look at his stack of money for ice cream. Amazing. Uh -oh. Why does this guy want the Minions? I don't know. The Zen crew would have a hard time doing stuff. 3D shot. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, that's great. Girls, Lucy. Lucy, girls. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, the mom fantasy. <laughs> Good luck saving the world. Bye. <laughs> oh, she, don't, she likes the, the yeah. daddy side, Tara. Those girls totally adore you. I bet you're a fun dad. I am pretty fun. Mm -hmm. All you gotta do is stroke his ego. Men and then are easy. In, man. Men are easy. Just stroke that ego. Oh my oh goodness. Oh my god. Margot's fallen in love too. Oh hey, boo. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh. Whoa! Cool glasses. I'm Antonio. Oh, is it the son of him? Yes, because the Z, there's a Z on his shirt. Welcome to Eagle Hair Club. It's about time you showed up, Mr. Gru. Okay. I'm getting nothing so far. I think you need to move around. Wow, this looks interesting. What uh. is it? <laughs> Hold on, I'm picking up something. Behind that wall! Ah, and oh. what do we have here? This wig will transform you from ugly to irresistible. Don't get distracted. Date, Too late. What? <laughs> Did he grab the wig? Yeah. Look, they're in love. Oh, no, no, no. Do not say that there. No, 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 no. And my dream is to one day. <laughs> oh, my God. Milk. You're so complicated. <laughs> complicated. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. So good to see you again, Miko. <laughs> oh, I see you have already met my father. Oh, that's why he gave it all up. Gru discovered traces of the serum at Eagle Hair mm. Club. Sure, but it's not him. It is El Macho. Mr. Gru, <gasps> please. I like this new world that they have here a lot. The direct mission objective. I'm not as Clear big on. of a fan of. And yeah. yeah and I'm a little bit lost, yeah. too. I'm like, am I? Uh, a little. Am I uh, just a little sleep deprived? Or I, I am um, on the same page. Yeah. <laughs> But I like dealing with the fatherly qualities of him learning to be a, yeah. a dad and not be overly sheltering about the whole thing. <laughs> looks amazing. I want to go to there. What is this, the father of the minions? Uh-oh. So we have like two villains? I have my friend Shannon here with me. I was thinking you two oh, could God. get some grub. I know you're in there, Gru. Oh, oh yeah, my god, that's right. right. Irresistible hair. I mean, there's just so many phonies out there. Oh my god. 
about yeah, this girl. Like <laughs> you look like a serial killer. Yeah, he looks insane. And so does she. Hi. Take oh, no. Sure, just a sec. No, don't catch it. No. No, I'm so sad for her right now. <laughs> oh, good. She can't see Gru. Oh, will she recognize him with his hair? Yeah. I, I know was... someone who can fix that for you, and you'll be talking normal in no time. That's offensive as hell. Uh -huh. Is this woman voiced by one of the people who plays the kids? How's the food? Uh, Are you wearing a wig? No. I'm going to rip that thing off your head and show everyone what a bad-headed phony. She is intense. <laughs> Ooh. Nice. Wow, looks like your date's out for the count. It's like she's been shot with a mild moose tranquilizer. <laughs> she no like? Oh, she's just uh. Look, look, look. Oh, 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 see, see. <laughs> uh, he just walks away. <laughs> oh my goodness. I like how they're not villains this time around, but they still do cruel things to people. Yeah. <laughs> this is their way of having a romantic night. <laughs> This was fun. Yes, yeah, surprisingly, it was. Just between you and me, you look much better bald. Aww. See you tomorrow. Smart to keep the childlike eyes. And I really love the idea of him having a love interest this time around. Yeah. It works really well. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Watching how it's affecting his yeah. emotions so much is great. He's happy. He's finding love. You feel like that. Oh, he's going to like yoga in the park. Good for him. You know, it's interesting about these movies. Like the gimmick of like the thievery, the villainy, or the spy stuff is the appeal to people. But the but the this thing is I, oh, like the most fun. The stuff I love the most is always like this, this stuff, the, right? The, the, the softer stuff of yeah. his heart and everything. <laughs> I agree. It's empty, but we found traces of the PX41 serum in it. He's our man. So somehow, in spite of your incompetence. We solved this one. Plant, plant. Get your mitts off of me. I am a legitimate oh. businessman. Now you're free to go back to your business. And it looks like Agent Wilde will be transferring to our Australian branch. No! I wanted to give you this. Your lipstick taser. Yeah, it's just a memento. You can remember me forever. Bye, Gru. Oh, it's look out the environment. She says bye, and it's all it's darker immediately. No, Gru, don't go back to who you were. Oh, don't succumb it. to the dark night of the soul, Gru. <laughs> Up to this point, our relationship has been strictly professional. Would you like to, <laughs> to go uh, on a date? Uh, no. Uh, uh, For real this time. Just be yourself, man. Oh, come on. That was a real number. I know. It wasn't a 555 five, five thing. Yeah, what's that about? Should we call it later? Did it have all the numbers? Maybe it was one letter, one number missing. Ah, I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, my goodness. <laughs> uh. <laughs> What is he doing? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, that is my favorite. Also, how have like Mark and Steve not been like, where are all the other minions? Like, how has no one been like, where are the other ones? You can distinguish them? No, no, <laughs> but he's, he's always hanging out with Mark and Steve and John, and these guys have cooler names. The guys who are stolen. <laughs> oh, no, they're, you're going to turn into a giant purple minion? No! Ah! Yikes. There are no rules, senor. It's cinco images. Come on, they're starting the ads. <laughs> Damn, 
this kid is so hands on. Oh my <laughs> god, he's sneaking up on him so much. <laughs> 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 this is a great <laughs> visual motif. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this is like, as far as sequels go, this is a really great. We are survivors. There's much more to us than meets the eye. Enjoy the party. This makes me want Mexican food. Also, where did he just run to? It makes me want authentic Mexican food, too. Yeah. Like some. And a chip del hat. Del Taco. Del Taco has better tacos than Taco Bell because right. they have more. It has more stuff in it. Not everybody yell at me in the comments. The secret lair. You are so wrong about the Taco Bell. <laughs> 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 they taste so much better. I don't even eat I meat love, anymore. <laughs> I love both, but Del Taco's tacos are like bigger and they have more. They have more cheese on top. Oh no! Uh, not the guacamole hat. Oh, so sad. Damn. Oh god. <laughs> You are gonna die. Somebody didn't those. take music theory. Oh. Oh. Nice. <laughs> oh. Uh, <laughs> oh. Would you like some peanuts or pretzels? All of it. Uh. My ultimate fantasy. That's a good joke. She sees group everywhere she goes. I just did a boom boom. <laughs> uh. I really need you to make a choice, hon. I choose Gru. <laughs> Thank you, Gru Stewardess! I would uh, not want to travel with these guys. I love that action hero thing. If they uh, just do this, that means I go faster. <laughs> <laughs> Evil magnet. I knew it! You are El Macho! That's right! Where's his tattoo? Of the Mexico flag, right? Yeah. It's time. We shall grow. He was working for him. Dr. Nefario? So this is your new job opportunity? Absolutely. Oh, that's why Nefario he... is kidnapping the minions. Oh. Yes. I had to borrow some of your minions, but it was for a worthy cause. That's horrible. Uh, I, I want him to go back and not be weird. No, I don't want it. Jeez. Oh. Wow. Uh. And here's the best part. I got Great visual gags in this movie. <laughs> Whoa, no. no. Now he has to die. Anyone tries to stop them. Yeah. The city gets eaten. We can do it together. Together? You must choose, Gru. Totally in. Uh, I'm not so convinced. No. Oh no. Now evil minion is gonna go ruin the party. We need to go home now. Where is Mark? Oh. What? Is she heartbroken? But what she did stood he up. do? He's dancing with someone else right now. Hey, what's wrong? I hate boys. Oh yeah. Typical. We gotta go. Poor Margo. Yes. Nice. He could really go to jail for that. Have you seen him? I really need to talk to him. Yes, I think he's somewhere around here. You two are close, no? Oh, I don't know. Oh, no. Put it together. Uh, Put it yeah. together, Lucy. Why did he say we were close? Did he say that? He never mentioned that you were both working for the anti villain league. Uh-oh. Group. Well, Dr. Oh. Nefario. So he's... Your on to you. He knows you're working for the AVL. Hey, right. he's got your partner. Thank you, Nefario. Both movies, you thought he was going to be bad, but then he ends up doing the right thing. He's doing good. <laughs> they kind of look like more advanced stages of that one pet that Guru has, don't they? Oh, yeah. His rat terror mixed with a porcupine. My God, what a creepy POV. Oh, yep. 
Oh god, this makes me dizzy. <laughs> There's like some semi horror touches in this episode. Yeah. In the movie. I don't see anything. Uh, oh, but Agnes could just like maybe disarm him because she disarms the doggy. She'll be like, David, is that you? Oh, hurry. oh the minions come out to figure out how to revert oh, it back. Oh, yeah. Ha, <laughs> <laughs> Edith. Oh, that quick. What? What? How did they the know minions how already had a, a serum, an antidote how to this? How do they know? <laughs> Dr. Nefario, you're back. Because oh, Dr. Cause Nefario him. is back. <laughs> okay. The antidote. Let's finally put this horrible jelly to some good use. Oh. Wow. Nefario. Oh, and then you put it in all the salsa, right? The it's like jelly? a jelly. Like, I don't know, the jelly you make it's it look. It's salsa. Uh, well, then, uh, okay. Don't be stupid, what Tara. What if the minions, what if they, they get hungry? And you're like, just eat this salsa, and they all turn back. But, like, it, the guy doesn't know you're using an, anti it an antidote serum. He just thinks you're feeding them. Okay? That was my idea. Get out. It was dumb. But for a moment in time. We are not watching Despicable Me 3 together. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> that like twitching effect they got. <laughs> Don't get caught up in this, man. Uh oh. <laughs> Ferocious little monsters. How are they gonna? They seem so much more formidable as little villains <laughs> than helpers. <laughs> 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 like they're actually like in large quantities are scary. <gasps> oh. Okay, yay, jelly. Do you just get to spray them? Oh, nice. Oh, cool. hell yeah. All right, nice. Oh, what a fun arcade game. That's awesome. Hi. Up the girls? Yes. Oh, was that wrong? No. They're doing a great job. This is literally our Oh my god, yes, Edith. This is it. She is my spirit animal. I think you're not supposed to say that anymore, but she has my spirit. Take care of the rest of the minions. I'm going to find Lucy. Cool. Oh, oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Nice. Oh, my God. Look at that 3D. It's coming right at me. <laughs> it's over, El Macho. Now, where is Lucy? Is it El Macho like super strength? Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> no. Turns out you were right about the whole El Macho thing, huh? <laughs> uh. <laughs> One push of this button, and I send that rocket straight into the same volcano where I faked my death. Tally-ho! Nice. Tally-ho! But now, you're gonna die. Oh, no. <gasps> A macho, macho man. Are they gonna play that song now? Dude, you did not think this through. <laughs> you did not think this through. Uh, okay. Oh. Agnes, scream. You guys don't have more jelly? <laughs> oh, the <laughs> lipstick taser! Yeah! <laughs> uh, uh, nice. Wow, did that really solve the problem? Now go get some jelly off of the wall and shove it in his mouth. Oh, he still has some left. Jelly him up, guys. Oh, his Hulk out was short lived. Come on now. <laughs> the fart gun actually got to be used against the villain. Nice. Don't worry, I will get you out of this. And the poor shark. Oh no! <gasps> no. The chicken wants his revenge. No. Oh boy, there they go. With what society does to chickens, <laughs> this chicken deserves to live. No. All right. Yeah, good, good, good. Whoa. No. 
absolutely. You guys are not eating that shark. You put him back in the ocean. We may not get out of this alive. So, I need to ask you a question. Uh, do it, Gru. If I'd asked you out on a date, what would you have said? Are you kidding me? Yes! Aww. <laughs> Jump! <laughs> Okay, there goes that volcano. Oh, they make this disaster look so pretty in the background. No, no, no. Okay, good. Oh, yeah, no. There's just way more texture to it. Everything. Wow, does that look yeah. so pretty? Oh, yeah, the other minions. Oh, they're still. <laughs> That's a great callback. They married? Wow, that's so many dates. Uh, la <laughs> it's such a, <laughs> such a simple joke with them, but yeah. it, it, but it, it works. It works. Man, his nose is huge. <laughs> yeah. Hey, that curls at the wedding. <laughs> Mom! Hi, everybody. I'd like to make some toast. <laughs> <laughs> she kisses my boo boos. She braids my hair. We love you, mothers, everywhere. And my new mom, Lucy, is beyond compare. Aww. That's really sweet. <laughs> Wow, I am C-I-A. You didn't even get a wedding outfit, Nefario. Hey, look, his old date came to his wedding. Yeah, yeah. I pointed that out earlier. You did? Pay attention. Gee, this is why. Lo siento. I heard you say something, but he was at the wedding. I didn't hear the name. You remember her name? No. Okay. It lives. <laughs> there were two directors this time around. Uh, well, last time there was stuff during the credits, so we and should now, wait to see. Maybe there is there still. It is. it is sawing its way in from the 3D. It's coming right at me. Hey, Bob. Drop. Come on in. Oh, oh the minions movie. Mm -hmm. Cinematic universe. Love it. Wow, it's <laughs> coming right at me. Uh -oh. Put up the screen. Uh oh. I don't like 3D most of the time. Why? Does I it make you feel sick? It just doesn't even. It just. It makes the screen look darker, and it doesn't really come at you. <laughs> you. And then you get stuff like this. Like this, which is like. Where I'm like, well, I don't have any of the effect desired effect it's going for. Yeah. <laughs> You know what I like <clears throat> better than the 3D is like the four mat, whatever it's called, when 40X. they spray this stuff in the air and your seat vibrates. I'm like, yeah. I'm down with that. We could do that at Creed, and I could punch you in the boxing match. <laughs> <laughs> that would be all of Greg's dreams coming true, <laughs> just punching me in the face. <laughs> Oh, hair and fur. <laughs> These little freaks. <laughs> freaks. Adorable. The inn is best to be. Oh, no. Oh, a boom blaster. <laughs> I do like the way this That's is escalated. That's pretty funny. <laughs> Minions. You got to go on them. Elimination, Mac Groove. 
Mac Estás com a Mac Goof. Need to try to do a what is he? How do, how do you, I mean, that was pretty good. I'm trying, you just, Tero. You can't. You we got to do a whole review. Do it like this. Oh, I cannot do it. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying. I can't do it. We have to do a whole. Nope. Oh, it was not too bad. We have to do a full review of life. This. Mm. Pretty good, right? Yeah. Everyone sold. I think Everyone. we should annoy the audience. And just, try, just, just talk like that yeah. so they can't understand What did you think word? of the movie, Tell them. We are saying, I thought the movie it was uh, fun and m brighter colors. And <laughs> <laughs> I liked it. I don't. Sound like the woman at my laundry. <laughs> really? <laughs> the dry cleaners. <laughs> I just can't get where I get my suit done. <laughs> Oh, he gets his suit done. I have, Look my, at him. I have my one suit. He had to add in that he's so important. He has to wear suits, and he wears them so when much, he your, has to get them clean. When you're in your 30s, it's, it's good to have a suit. Uh, <laughs> it's good to have at least one God. suit. <laughs> when you're in your 30s. <laughs> when these are traveling. hot tips <laughs> yeah. by Gregory Alba. Number when, one, when you hit your 30s, get a suit. Get a suit. And if you can, get a second suit. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's too much. Listen, I liked this movie, and I didn't like it as much as the first because the first one, uh, the first one had more heart. Like the first one, movie cried at the end. I really love the speech that Agnes finally gives that she worked on, and then she finally gets to give it to her now new mom. But there wasn't enough of a relationship built up between them for me to like really, really care. I was surprised that they didn't towards the end. Show just a quick montage of dates, but also her being in the household with the girls. Because I think even if it was like an extra minute, it would have made me feel more during Agnes's speech. If I had seen some clips of her getting to know the kids in a cute moment where they're like, they're kind of shy, but she's reading them books now. And like, you know what I mean? That was the thing that popped in my head when she was giving that speech because I thought it was so stinking adorable and I was like, oh, how could they have actually made me cry during that moment? Right. When I, uh, and I'm like, oh, as if we if we saw more of the relationship, that maybe would that would have made it too long of a movie, possibly. But um, I still thought it was a lot of fun. And I'm glad Nefario always comes back and has their back. Yeah. Always. Always, man. Yeah. Always the repeat beat right there. Yeah. You know, I, I like the world a lot in this movie. And I think it direction wise it's slicker it everything pops a lot more it's more vibrant they actually have a lot of great style with their moving shots because I, I remember with the last movie like as I, I love the story of the last movie and i remember saying like the it's surprisingly shot really simple like there, there's a simple way yes. of like capturing everything even with the animation there's there's a simplicity to it and here they take that simplicity, but they add on more to it, and they, they do a lot more with the visual gags and a lot of the way with the editing as well, with the reveals. It, there, there was so much more visually that I thought was aesthetically more pleasing. Mm -hmm. And then overall, too, for a part two, it's a pretty solid sequel. Uh, it's really fun, and the evolution of Gru with, you know, f first one is him overcoming... That sometimes you know to find love, you got to <laughs> overcome some of your parental Fears. troubles. Yes. Right. Yes. Right. Yeah. He's right, men. Yeah. So you stop treating women like crap. <laughs> Get over your mom problems, or wherever you saw your dad treat their mom, and then maybe you could find love and side the same thing with women. You maybe, know? or if your mom was a jerk, like you. You're right. Then, you know, go to therapy for that. Too. That's what I mean. Those you got to overcome those things. Yeah. So I actually like the transgression of in the first movie, it's him getting over some of those parental troubles. And then yeah. this allows him to open the door to finding Real love, love uh, and finding a woman who is not like his mom. Right. Who can support him, you know. Who and, likes and, him. Yes. His bald head and his big nose. Likes him for who, accepts him for who he is. It's good. So there's. Thematically, I really like that a lot. Even psychologically, because this movie 
movies, they do have a psychological element with Gru overcoming childhood oh, traumas, yeah. right? They didn't have, you know what, now that you say that, they didn't have as many callbacks as I thought they would. In the first movie, they had multiple callbacks, remember, with his like mom when he was growing up or yeah. whatever in the first movie. They only did it that one time where he was a kid in the yard, and yeah. that maybe could have been a benefited this movie if they had just showed it a couple more times like they played with it in the first of I him so too, yeah. having like an afraid moment before he even asks her like i mean it could have even been a funny callback of like he's on the rocket and being like he's gonna ask her but there's a he has a moment where we go into his head when he was a kid and he was rejected mm. i think i think i would have liked seeing that yeah i would have liked it too i do think that this movie is certainly creative and it's there are a lot of inventive ways they did a lot of the the entire execution. There's a lot of inventive things on screen. I do think the actual story is a little bit more by the numbers for this genre of what it is. Of like, there was something that was more unique. I thought with the first movie, mm-hmm. and I'm not just even talking about the introduction of the world. It, it's the the way the story plays out with like this ridiculous thing of trying to steal the moon and then you know finding the the love with the daughters and this this unique tale of a guy who uses these children and then ends up being like no i actually love you don't want to it's it's a much more unique story for sure and it's all it's weirder but it's i thought more touching and then here, it's a little bit more straightforward. More yeah. 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 Like they follow the tropes of like what we would see in an anti villain, like, um, whatever, we got to fight him down. We got to figure it out. Like, yeah, the love story, too. Yeah. It was, it, yeah. while I liked it, I thought it was charming. And I like, I think Lucy and Gru are, uh, there's, they're really adorable. And I think, uh, I imagine, I wonder if Kristen Wiig and Steve Carell were in the same booth together recording oh. because they do have great chemistry um, and other things they've worked on, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah I agree. Yeah. I also am still very concerned about, was that Mexican tattoo of the flag, was that, so it wasn't a tattoo, it was like, it was drawn on yeah, and then it just came on. off? Because I'm like, that is weird continuity that I was thinking about so much that when they he finally admitted that he was the villain and there was that big magnet that I was like, he's going to come out and be like, and this is my evil brother who was distracting you with the tattoo on it. Yeah. So I'm like, where did that go? That that was that was honestly that bugged me for a minute. I understand. And I think his necklace moved a little bit because the reason I said, yeah, that's his son because he had a Z on his shirt mm-hmm. Because his thing had an M. It's for M for macho. But in some shots in the beginning, it looked like it was rotated to a Z. That's So that's why I said that, okay? I also, another thing, I, I like the, sorry, what, what's the name of that girl who was into the sun? Into the sun? The, in, the girl who was, in, who was into the villain's son. Who, oh, Margo. Who, Margo, Margo, yeah. yeah. I like the inclusion of that story. I don't feel like there was much of a wrap-up no, or, or, or a lesson that, really learned other than it just ended with her being like boys suck when it was when it was yeah. one of their many b stories you're right about that because that's yeah. what probably led us to well uh, for sure leading us to going like he might be the real villain and he's gonna get <laughs> to margo and the kids and then it's gonna blow up where they have to go save the kids or something yeah but that just ended up being kind of a uh a non-fulfilling B story of like, yeah, this kid's a jerk because his dad's a jerk too. I know there was like in the middle of all the cacophony of stuff. At the same time, I feel like that did lend its open. That could have opened a door for some kind of emotional beat for Gru to have. Yeah, with it. and some of those emotional beats with the children were sort of missing here. So that's I actually get where you're coming from when it came to that speech at the end. Yeah, because it wasn't, there, there wasn't much of the bonding that we saw, and it was just like, oh, they just want a mom instead of seeing the relationship form with Lucy, right. which would have, I think, behooved the movie to... to f- and I think both these movies are at their best yeah. when they're t- doing that stuff. Yes. Like, I, th- th- they are the things... May- maybe it's... I don't know. Maybe for the kids. I don't know. I don't know what the kids think. It's like maybe the kids like the, the other spy stuff more and, and we as adults... Like the more emotional stuff, more like, it would stand a reason. I mean, yeah. but, but imagine now that I'm thinking in my head, it would have been a perfect spot where Margo is sat at salsa and salsa, but Margo, uh, sorry, uh, what's the love interest name? Lucy. Yeah, Lucy. But Lucy shows up and is able to give her a talk about, like, 
not like a full on talk about boys, but it gives her yeah. some sort of sentiment, some sort of like, sure. yeah, you know what? Like, you're right. She like picks her up and then Margo's like, eh, forget about it. Uh, maybe not totally, but she teaches her something. And maybe we have a moment where Lucy teaches yeah. maybe one of the girls a little something that they take that they haven't, that you kind of just cannot get from their dad. Yeah, From sure. a male figure, right? That would have been really nice and taken, what, 20 seconds with each kid if there was yeah. a way to add it in there. So, yeah, I agree. I feel like we were missing that, but I also don't think if they added it in that it would be a boring thing for the kids to watch. Because yeah. I'm like, the only reason they got to Despicable Me too is because one was freaking great. Yeah. You know? I mean, I still think, though, the you know, sequel to Despicable Me could have easily just been... Because I've heard some people not really praise some of the other ones that much. Okay, We're going with yeah. an open mind. We'll see how they are. Yeah. Um, but I still feel like for a follow-up, it's... It's, re- it's really hard to do a follow-up to these kind of movies. They, yeah. they usually are just repetitive or they get more childish. And here I thought they at least, they really made a concerted effort to enhance it. I think some people may- maybe like this one more. I actually, and I saw comments of people saying like Vector's the best villain in the franchise. Oh. I personally preferred this yeah. over, Not o- over Vector. Yeah, Vector, I... Vector, I didn't, we weren't the biggest fans of Vector. Yeah, I didn't like dislike him. Just didn't really leave an impression. No, it was like, yeah, he was whatever. And then here, I, there's more of an. I feel like I'm gonna remember this one more. Yeah, yeah. I think so too. Like his, it's like he, he has more of a, a larger, broader character. Yeah, and maybe it was like. Because we also weren't only introduced to him as a villain right off the bat. He had he was just a regular person with a regular like, oh, get me these cupcakes and join us at this party. And here's my kid and blah, blah, blah. Versus with Vector, we didn't really have that. We knew yeah. right away. It was just like he's a bad guy. But we had to figure it out with macho, macho man. Yeah. Interesting setting how most of this was just at a mall. Yeah. That's really interesting. <laughs> Guys, there is, there is like some Easter egg thing when that you are very first seeing them all. When you look up, there is a Disney like D yeah. in there, and I'm like, "This is DreamWorks, right?" Or it's Illumination. It's you know, Illumination, but anyway. And then it was never there again. But I swear to you, if you go and you look, and it's the little Disney like maybe saying hi to him. I don't know. Odd. You know? Yeah, it's a whole thing. Anyway, I mean, I liked it. Eight, eight, eight seven, seven. seven Hmm. I'll give it like a 6.5 because oh, I didn't yeah. get the emotions out. And the first one really did that with me. Yeah. Um, I, I probably be, I'm actually, I really, really admired. It's so funny. Usually in these situations on this channel, I'm usually the one a little bit lower than everyone else, but I'm actually, I'd probably be like a seven. Point, seven? Yeah. Probably like a 7.5 because I thought the directing and Ooh, the cinematography yeah. and the animation, they really amped that up. They really did. In a did. way that just kept me, kept my eyes glued to the screen was because of that. Yeah, I thought they just, they added so much personality and flourish to that, that that was weirdly the thing that was kind of missing for me from the first movie. Mm-hmm. And and I thought they really brought that here. So just due to that, like I'd still give the first one like an 8.5. Yeah, but, know, oh, me nine. too. It's same like page. 8.5, like, 9. For yeah. sure, because of the yeah. story. Yeah, exactly. And yeah. we're here, I would be like, ah, I would get points. I, I got to give it points for the seven point, like for what they did. Because, yeah, I, I I do think that um, they introduced a neat world here with the anti-villain league, but they didn't really explore it. They were kind of doing a lot in this movie. There was a little, yeah. it became a little, it became a little convoluted to me. At, at yeah, remember point. when yeah. I was like, we're both yeah. unclear about like, what the mission is. What is the exact objective here? Yeah. Yeah, like they're trying to locate the guy with the magnet, right? We but don't. I feel like, have we lost sight of that? Yeah. <laughs> but they think the guy, the the wrestler, I forget his name. Uh, macho. Macho. My God, that's such an macho, easy name. Macho, macho They think man. he's the, the guy with the magnet, right? Is that what we're getting at? Uh, <laughs> But why would yeah. he be the guy with the magnet? It was <laughs> it was unclear. We was a, were a was, little lost a for a moment. For a split second where I was yeah. like, I think I get it, but I feel like I'm also not 100% sure. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but no, nah, man, overall, uh, still want to see Despicable Me, uh, whatever, and Trace. three. And then we'll see how it goes. Tara, close this out. There's no patron shout out today. So just okay. close this out proper. Oh I'm going to watch you do it. It's I'm going to watch you do it's it. It's me 
Tara, and this is Greg, and we were watching Despicable Me 2, and we hope that you like, comment, and ring the bell, and love us forever, and tell us if you want us to watch three. We love you. Goodbye! Illumination! Banana.